football. Texas and Oklahoma, and rarely have the stakes been higher between these two story programs and bitter rivals. Mac Brown had only one conference and national title, largely because of the perception he can't get past Stoops. You had a look at Sam Bradford. Bradford will a touchdown drive on the opening possession now in the second quarter. Yeah. Hits both receivers, Jermaine Gresham and Ryan Broyles. He has one receiver. One receiver deep, one receiver short. They have it there, so you get a touchdown. Uh, is that the way you draw it up? No, not exactly, but if it works, <laughs> put it in the playbook. And, and this is not the way you like to have your kickoff coverage drawn up. A Pontiac game-changing nominee is Jordan Shipley goes the other it way. It always bothers me when you only have one safety on a kickoff return because the kick returner can beat the one guy. You need to have two or three. Consequently, that gives great morale and lift to Texas. And that seemed to breathe life into Texas, but Bradford answered again. This time, Gresham didn't bother to knock it ahead to Boyles. He just took it himself. He was wide open, Mark, for 52 yards. And the reason why he's wide open, keep an eye on the defense of the Longhorns. Three defenders on Manny Johnson because he's the hot receiver out there. Look at this right there. Jermaine Gresham is wide open. Now it's a foot race to the end zone, and he wins it. Sooners lead is back to 11, so now this drive is of the utmost importance for Texas, and Colt McCoy showed his medal, found his hunting and fishing buddy, Jordan Shipley, across the middle, first down. Then McCoy, Shipley again, and, and Colt was starting to find his rhythm. His hunting and fishing buddy? Yeah, and his completion buddy. Again, this time to Quan Cosby, who had a spectacular day as well, and now McCoy taking off under pressure, moving with his feet. Well, he makes a big play here, gets it in position where they can pick up the first down. Now, this is a third down play, same drive. McCoy, complete, Cosby, slipping tackles, he's in the red zone, and Texas in scoring position to get out close again. McCoy on the move, Shipley just short of the end zone. Next play, they bring in the big fellas, Roy Miller, usually a defensive tackle, look at that block he got for Cody Johnson. Texas also added a field goal, 21-20 at the half. Third quarter. Third and four for the Sooners in the one-point game. Here's Bradford, middle screen to Manny Johnson. Well, you can't allow people to catch the ball and then run with it, and that's what Oklahoma did so well. First down, Oklahoma drive stays alive. Now, later in the drive, pretty much the same play, Mark, and they completed this past the line of scrimmage, but the linemen got down and made the play. And I think that's key. The linemen were down making blocks, getting hats on hats to allow your receiver to get in the end zone. That is Oklahoma linebacker Ryan Reynolds. He was out, and he's out for the season after injuring his knee, and that left a gaping hole in the middle of that Sooner defense. McCoy to Brandon Collins, first down. Later in the drive, this is the first big running play Texas had all day. Chris Obanaya. And a huge hole on the left side of the line. Terrific blocking by that Texas offensive line. But they miss linebacker Ryan Reynolds. And this time, great protection for Colt McCoy. Jordan Shipley, touchdown. Nice job by the offensive line. Look at the separation, but right here, the replacement for Reynolds. Brandon Crow gets frozen right there, can't make the play, and it's a terrific job by the offense executing this play for a touchdown. 28-27, Texas forced a fourth down, and... Bob Stoops rolled the dice with Mike Knoll, faking the punt, and he comes up short. Longhorns did an infusion of energy with the Longhorn sideline fired up, but Oklahoma threatened to get it back. McCoy, perhaps his only bad decision of the day, fires what looks to be an interception by Lamont Robinson, but by rule, if you are going to the ground, either as receiver or interceptor, you must complete the catch, and the ball comes loose, Incomplete. Mark, you think he might have possession of I, I think he had possession of that. He took a he took two and a half steps. That would make it a second act, but the rule applied and make Texas settle for the field goal, but it kept Oklahoma from stopping anything. Now, you see, once again, Nall was involved in a play. He's barely touched, but he kept the drive alive. This drives me crazy. He's going to get up. Oh no, I need the flag. There goes my leg. Oh, he had cramps, coach. He was cramped <laughs> up on the previous one after he got tackled. Here's Bradford again. He was brilliant. Five touchdown passes, 387 yards, three of them Manny Johnson. All of a sudden, the Sooners are back on top, 35-30. But now, on a third and eight, guess who? McCoy, Shipley, again. Shipley, down to the one. He had 11 catches on the day. Longhorns would punch it in from the one. Texas going for two. Quan, uh, feel the quad, feel it, grab the quad before it hits the ground. Quan Cosby, two-point conversion. Now, the fourth quarter, third and two, Sooners down by three. Bradford has trouble finding anybody open. Manny Johnson wanted a flag, Sooners would have to punt. Later in the fourth, 
third and three, and this time Colt would convert to Obanaya. What a fabulous job of Colt McCoy keeping the play alive, looking around to dump the ball off to get the first down. And here, look at the right side of the line pull, Coach, you get great blocks down the field. Did a tremendous job there. They came with a blitz to the wide side of the field. Got great blocking in the short field. A 62-yard rip for Obanaya. The big fella's in the goal line package again. Cody Johnson finishes it off. 45-35, the highest scoring game in the history of the rivalry. And McCoy in the, in the horns are victorious. Congratulations to, to Texas. Their staff and team played, a, played an outstanding game and uh, really executed well throughout the game. And, and uh, really, you know, again, credit to them. Uh, we weren't good enough. They, they were and uh, made the plays and made the difference in the second half to win it. What, a, what an awesome opportunity to play. These two teams are great. We executed. We had a hard time running the ball early. Uh, we, we passed the ball really well tonight. And we came out on top. The guys on both teams just left it all out on the field and looked at, totally exhausted at the end of the game. And, and both teams were in great shape in that heat, but it was a, it was a heavyweight fight that continued throughout the day. And uh, every time one would get up, the other one would come back and vice versa, and, and neither team gave up and neither team quit.